Hi together. My name is Bernd from Heizomat. The most of you will heat at home with oil or gas, or in the best cases with wood, so split firewood, split logwood. But it gives a much better solution. Wood chips. Wood chips are much more comfortable and also cheaper. And we from Heizomat, we build wood chip boiler from 30 kilowatt for a normally living house till 2600 kilowatt for industry areas or in heating networks, completely different. And also we produce wood chippers. Wood chipper from small size till the big one you see behind me, our 14860 with 80 centimeter in-feet height. And if you want to know how we produce wood chips or how wood chipper produce wood chips, that we show you in this video. The most of our chippers are PGO driven. And in the front of our 14860, like here, is our Heizer truck. We built it also customized in our company, Minmeicher or Heidenheim. It had more than 500 horsepower, operator seat, and much more um, special specifications, like a much bigger cooling system for the big hydraulic systems, like for a crane. Also a fifth wheel plate, four wheel drive. Fifth wheel plate you can use for a semi-trailer, or you can use it normal with a drawbar. But now we come to our chipper and how it's working. The PTO is starting and then the chipper drum is running. With our crane, you grab scrap wood, roadside vegetation or logwood, completely different. We can use all of our chipper. Put the crane and put it in the infeed. In the front of our infeed is a front end roller and then comes two chain conveyor belt and that we show you from the top. In the front, you see it from the bottom, our front end roller, then our first chain conveyor belt and the second chain conveyor belt. Why we split it? Two reasons. The first is you can use the table when you put a little bit in the top as a funnel. And the second, the much bigger reason, you see here, dirt, stones, things that we don't want in our plates. That is weird for our plates and the less quality in our wood chips. And here we have a table cleaning. The dirt falls through the table, under the table, so away from the, from the chipper, and we don't have it in our drum and we don't have it in our wood chips. At the second chain conveyor belt comes our top roller. Clamp the wood, what you put inside, and put it in our drum. Our drum is our heart. Our drum have more than 690 millimeter uh, diameter and more than 1.2 meter in feet width. And here we have 80 centimeter in feet height. On our drum are six plates. And the six plates working with a counter knife like a scissors at home. The plates and a counter knife cut the wood here and then it splits. That's all. And from this comes our wood chips. After the drum, we have sieves. And through this sieves, we can, we have different sizes, 30 millimeter, 50 millimeter sieve. Through this size, we can choose our wood chip um, size from 30 millimeter or for example, 50 millimeter. And that's all. And how the sieve is working, we look behind. Now, we are on the other side. Here, you see our drum. The two screws, they are the, hold the plates. You can change it all six plates in 10 minutes by yourself. Then we have our sieves, two in the rotor cover and two in the bottom. You can change it by hand. It's easy, you need a loan 10 minutes. Uh, in the bottom of the sieves are three augers. These three augers push the wood chips in the blower and from the blower uh, through the exhaust chute, you can put it on a trailer or like here in a silo. So now as you see, we had our pile, our chipper is in work position and behind me you see the reason why wood chips are really cheap heating solution. It's only scrap wood, roadside vegetation, wood that's normally waste and unusable. And now we chip it and heat a complete village with it. And now let's go. Now you see, 
we have started. Uh, the first trailer is full and it's away. We have changed it. Now it's the second trailer. Uh, yeah, you see it? That's the best version. The pile is in the field. Um, you can dry it by natural. Um, the pile lays, well, I think, since some half year. Um, we need a moisture, in the best cases, between 15 and 25% uh, moisture. A little bit more or less is okay, but um, that's the best. Uh, yeah, and as you see, it's strap wood, as we talked before, as we told you before. And yeah, now we chip it. And you see here also our new control. The new control is complete digital. Um, you have all um, information that you need, um, RPM of the PTO. You can make different clients. Um, that's absolutely cool for daily using as a general contractor or as a forest contractor. One of the bad things is that you can set your joysticks. So you can set every setting of your joystick. You can, yeah, do it by yourself. Now you see here, for example, um, on the left joystick, on the left bottom is uh, the turning of our exhaust chute, but you can change it. You have the general menu again. When you have an issue, like uh, an emergency stop, complete machine is stopping, and you refresh it with the joystick. You see it, what else is okay? Can we get stop? Yeah. And then you can do it. Now you have seen how we produce wood chips with our wood chipper and if you want more information about wood chipper or heating system please contact us or your local Heizomar dealer. <laughs>